So here's another nice long battle video. So this is basically a Hydreigon uh, Darkrai mirror match. However, um, I believe he runs Hydreigon, possibly. Um, but the, the kicker is that he also runs Terrakion, and Terrakion is a big threat to any Darkrai deck. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we both start with a Darkrai, he gets to go first, attaches, and passes. So I don't have any energy, and that's not looking good. So I'm going to toss out uh, is that a supporter, possibly, and I'm feeling like I'm probably going to toss out the catcher. Yeah, catcher and the other Ultra Ball to get a uh, an interesting, a Sableye in play. Um, I thought I would have gone for the DNO, but uh, maybe not. Gonna go ahead and play the level ball, and here is when I should go for the DNO. Um, I go ahead and go for the Dragon one. Uh, well, mainly since I already have a dark Pokemon on my bench, I really don't need to. Oh, this is an older game, too. This is back uh, when I was still playing Revive in the deck because I only had, like, two Darkrai, one Darkrai. Uh, I think the, the one I have active is that the promo one, so I think I may have only had two. So this is an inferior version of a Darkrai Hydreigon deck. Um, pretty much I think the only thing I would change is uh, swapping out the Revive for the Darkrai. Other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with the build. Um, I just haven't been playing very well this season, so uh, we'll see how it goes. So he catches up my uh, Dieno. So this is a mirror match. Uh, he has two Dieno on the bench. I see him discard a Fighting Energy with that with that Juniper. So uh, that that and there we go. So there's the Terrakion EX. Um, nasty, nasty Pokemon. So uh, and I don't mean that like in a bad way. I just mean like it's it's a it's a threat to any deck like mine that's weak to fighting. You know, Darkrai is my main attacker, uh, does not like fighting. So attaches a fighting to Terrakion, very smart play. And I believe that's it. Oh, he retreats um, and promotes the Darkrai. An interesting choice, don't know if I would have quite gone that route, but all right. Uh, I draw into a level ball and uh, yuck. So the rest of my hand is just bleh. Um, So I have another Deano. Or do I go for the Zwellis? I decided to go for another Deano, hoping that on a Juniper I can get a Rare Candy, an Ultra Ball, or a uh, Hydreigon. Unfortunately, I don't hit that. Um, but I do hit the Zwellis, so I'm, I'm at least able to evolve. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, I pretty much have to evolve, and... Then... I'm going to level ball again, probably just to get a Sable, another Sableye on the bench, just to get it out of the active position, or to get that uh, as well as out of the active position. Hopefully an N or a Bianca next turn will, will get me into one of my two ability Hydreigons. Oh, that is the other inferior part of this deck, is that it does not have any, um, it does not have a, uh, all three um, Hydreigon abilities. So that's actually weird. I should have free retreat with Darkrai, and uh, it's... Yeah, well, as well as has a free retreat cost anyways. Interesting. But, um, very odd. So I'm just going to promote a Sableye for now. And, uh, figuring that if I lose a Sableye, that's not a big deal since I'm not the one on the bench. I'd rather lose a Sableye than lose either one of my Hydreigon lines or my, or my uh, Darkrai. So, um, we'll have to see what he ends up doing. I really wish I would have had a, uh, an energy attached to Sableye so I could, you know, uh, get some uh, trainers back from the discard pile, but I haven't really discarded too much, so it's really not a big deal. I take a look at his discard pile, and uh, there's a uh, candy. So, Hydreigon is coming out into play on his side. And then he ends me, so very interesting. Um, I pull in a Hydreigon, but not the one I want, so it's kind of a bummer. Uh, pull in the rare candy as well, but I can always use that to, uh, yeah, I could use that on the other Deano just to keep a dark Pokemon on the bench and be a little harder to knock out. Alright, so he's finally got the energy on Terrakion that he needs. And checking out my discard pile. I have Catchers, Ultra Balls, Dark Patches. Actually, I might want to get some of those Dark Patches back. Um, but then again, there's no dark energy in the discard pile, so maybe no need. 
All right, so definitely going to attach the energy for the turn. And, hmm, this is actually quite interesting. Uh, I can clear out my hand some, questioning whether or not I need to use the Max Potion on Sableye. It's, uh, yeah, Terrakion's going to start knocking out my Dark Eye next turn. Um, so it looks like I'm going to attach it to Dark Eye for now. I'm going to go ahead and Max Potion the damage off of Sableye. Uh, yeah, I think I just need a rare candy, the Hydragon, just to burn it, just to get it out of my hand. Uh, but I don't do that. I decide to end instead. Luckily, I do hit the Hydragon and the Mewtwo, and Mewtwo is, um, my Terrakion counter, pretty much. I, right now, or maybe it wasn't back then, uh, Hydragon was glitched, so it was, um, it did not, uh, if, if you tried to attack with Hydragon, the game kind of just froze in the process of trying to discard energy. But this is my uh, way of, of dealing with Terrakion without uh, hopefully dying so easily, is my Mewtwo. So right now I need a Dark Trans, um, an energy from Hydragon up to Sableye to get Retreat cost uh, away, bring up my Mewtwo, and then put the energy from Darkrai on, and uh, Sableye. I uh, really don't want that blend energy on there, just in case he does promote a um, DCE, but yeah, I just want to put as much damage on that Terrakion as possible, so I hit him for 100, and we'll see what he does. If he drops a DCE Mewtwo, I'm screwed, pretty much. Um, but if he doesn't, I still have a good shot, so we'll see what he does. Uh, right now, he's in a much better board position. It looks like he's got his Wellis in play, as well as that Hydreigon. Two Darkrai with one energy attached to it, and then the Terrakion. All he has to do is, um, well, actually, I don't know Terrakion's attack cost for that second attack. If it is another fighting energy, then I will need to, uh, or not I will need to, but he'll need to pull into it, and pull into it rather than just moving it off, moving a Dark Energy from Darkrai. And he plays Mew, which is just as bad. Um, it hits me for weakness. It can, uh, it, oh, yeah, it's it's just as bad. Because uh, it can copy any attack. So uh, any attack of any Pokemon on the field. It's a great Mewtwo counter, because as long as Dark Ride's on the field, it can already, um, oh yeah, it, it totally knocks me out. So right now, I'm expecting him to retreat into that Mew, move the energy onto it, take out the Mewtwo, um, copying Dark Ride's attack, and uh, then spreading a little bit of damage. So he also ends me, which is alright. Um, my hand really wasn't that great. And I pull another Mewtwo, which um, if I can get another energy... With that dark patch, I'll be able to um, get the Mewtwo loaded up for the Retaliate uh, knockout. So I pretty much just have to uh, see what happens. Now, question is, is he going to take his turn? Um, as you can see, this is a very long video, almost half an hour long. And I've considered maybe speeding up the videos. Um, like doing a pre-render where I double them up and then going back and editing the audio into it. Um, actually, this is probably a good time to ask everyone's opinion. Uh, what What's the, the time cutoff for a battle video for you? Would you prefer to watch a sped up version and have it, you know, maybe kind of fast, maybe not be able to follow everything as well, but have it closer to a 15 minute video? Um, it's It would take way too much time, I think, for me to actually go in and, like, places like this where he's just kind of sitting there not doing much of anything, just thinking uh, to really take these these things out, but I could easily just double the speed and uh, and then do the audio over that. And um, yeah, so again, just question is, what is the uh, ideal amount of time for you guys? 15 minutes, 10 minutes, or do you like the longer videos? So interestingly enough, he does not uh, retreat and knock me out with Mew. So, um, kind of at a loss. Uh, I really don't, uh, I mean, Mewtwo's going to go eventually. I just don't know why he did that. So, um, right now I want a catcher. I want to catcher up that Mew and knock it out before it hurts me. Unfortunately, uh, that doesn't happen. So, I really have no choice but to 
just attach. Um, there's no point in me using, yeah, there's really no point in me using the Max Potion, um, which I don't think I, I see right now, uh, because he's just going to knock me out with Mew. But I'm hoping that maybe he doesn't, I mean, I hon honestly don't know what I'm wasting my time for. I need a Dark Trans 1 off of him, but um, wasting this Max Potion here is just a huge misplay, because that Mew is going to come up and knock me out. Um, good thing is, is I can knock him out with, I think, only two energy, so I can save some resources there. And, uh, yeah, so, um, no, oh, I decide to take him out with Darkrai, which actually, a uh, very smart move. Um, now, he could just have the catcher and drag out my Mewtwo, and that'll be it anyways. But by taking him out with my Darkrai, uh, that means that he has to pull into the catcher to be able to take out my Mewtwo and hit him and hit me with the uh, his Mew for the weakness. So, um, if I remember right, this, this game, and uh, this game does not end well in my favor, but it comes really close. So, I decided to put a little damage on that Mew just in case I had to take it out with something other than Mewtwo. And I take the first couple of prizes. So that Terrakion EX, um, yeah, while it really worried me, it did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Alright, so he attaches for a turn, Dark Patches onto Darkrai. And, yep, catches up the Mewtwo. So here it goes. Um, so Mew's ability says that it can uh, copy any attacks on the field. That does not mean that he gets to copy any weaknesses or anything like that, just copy any attacks. So right now, um, he's going to copy, uh, you just have to have the energy cost. So he's going to copy Darkrai's attack, which would do 90, but because of Mew being a psychic type, it will do 180 to me, knocking me out, and then he still gets to spread 30 for... Um, a little bit of extra damage. Now this is why I'm glad that I put the 90 on or the 30 on Mew because now that he's knocked out my Mewtwo I can rely on my Darkrai to knock him out. If he had an Eevee Light that'd be a different story. Luckily he didn't so we're still good. So I draw for my turn I get a second um, Dark Energy and right now I'm just gonna attach it to Hydreigon. Um, I'm going to probably um, yeah, I think I need a I need a super rod, and get that Mewtwo back in, in case he pulls out another Terrakion, and keep my hand fresh with the Junipers. Um, uh, I really need to get another Hydreigon in play. I hate to give up a rare candy, but I should be running two others. And um, yeah, now if I don't decide to super rod and Juniper, that may not be the the worst thing in the world. Uh, because uh, if I take out the Mew, he has no more energy on the field. So it looks like that's what I'm going to end up doing. And uh, if he can get three energy on the field, ugh, that Dino um, is in trouble. So now I'm actually wondering, I feel like I lost this game. So I'm wondering how I lost this game, because uh, I'm at a very in a very good board position right now. So he's got two Hydreigon in play. Uh, looks like I just put 30 on one of the Dark Rise. And, yeah, hmm, I'm not quite sure how I lose this. I must really screw up somewhere. Um, he gets maybe a Retaliate Terrakion out. Uh, I mean, he could power that up easily in one turn, so that could be it. But I'm really not sure. He plays another Deano, very interesting. Um, Super scoop up, and he hits tails. I'm I, I'm kind of curious as to what he would have gone for if he had hit the hedge. Just the the, the damage Darkrai. I mean, the thirty on Darkrai really wasn't all that concerning for him. So I wouldn't think that would have been a big uh, card to use super scoop up on. So it Ultra Ball some uh, looks like just basic Dark Energy away, and. Let's see what he gets. Now, uh, one thing that could kill me right now is an N. Oh, so here we go with another Terrakion EX. So maybe this is how I lose it, is uh, just that Terrakion, because uh, they're, they're tough guys to take out. Still need to take out two prizes. He plays a Juniper without playing an Energy. So I think he's, yeah, he's hoping for the Dark Patch and hitting the Fighting Energy. Um, 
transing it on uh, to retreat. Yeah, so he's he, ha he got the fighting energy off the Juniper, attaches it to Rakion, has, has the Dark Patch for the Dark Rye. Uh, now he's going to Dark Trans that uh, Dark Energy onto Tarak, or actually, sorry, he has to Dark Trans it up to the active Hydreigon in order to be able to retreat back to Tarakion. Then he trans it back up to Tarakion so that Tarakion can attack. Um, or he decides to do nothing. And, oh, this is what gets me, is Paralysis. Um, I, for this, yeah. Paralysis. This is the clincher, because Dark Eye decks, we don't run Switch. There's, uh, for the random times that we are affected by special conditions, it is not really worth it to run Switch. So he hits a heads at a crucial time. That heads, just, um, if, I, if I'm correct and he does win it, um, that heads is what wins in the game. Uh, hands down. So, um, uh, now I gotta decide what to do. Um, definitely gonna attach for the turn. Uh, I mean, I can't attack this turn, so it's more like just getting my bench prepped. Um, I need to take that energy off of Dark Eye. I'm gonna attach the Eviolite just to make it a little more difficult for him to knock me out with that Terrakion. Um, Man, I really wish I... Oh, well, I don't, I don't want to play... I, oh, I just don't like my hand right now. So... Yuck. Uh, I may just have to Juniper a Juniper and a Bianca. So I Super Rod in the Mewtwo, just so I can Super Rod it. And... I'm going to play a Level Ball, just to see what's left in my deck. Still have a rare candy in there, still have Hydreigon ability, and uh, looks like I just played the Bianca for two. Um, yeah, I don't know, I really... Hmm. Oh, don't end your turn now, you have to Dark Trans the energy off. Uh, get... Oh, and that was a crucial misplay, again. Um, I should not have uh, ended my turn without Dark Transing the uh, energy off of Dark Right. Even if they're on De Deano, Sableye, something that's going to be knocked out easily, spreading them out to force him to use the catcher to get something else up is what I needed to do. Um, likely he's with another Juniper right there. He's going to, yep, he hit the second fighting energy. He got rid of my Eevee Light with Tool Scraper. He's going to bring up that, um, the other Dark Energy from Deano onto the Tracheon and knock out my Dark Rite. And there goes two Dark Energy that were a complete waste, which didn't have to be a complete waste. Um, so now he has a Super Scoop up, uh, again, hits Tails. I don't really know why he's using those cards. Um, the Dark Rye really is not that damaged on his field. So he knocks out my Dark Rye. Um, and here's another, uh, I guess, bad part of only having one, um, or one, maybe two Dark Rye. I think this is the two Dark Rye version of my deck. Uh, is, is that I don't have another Dark Rye on the bench for the free retreat. Um, which just makes my options more limited. I have to get rid of more, damp more energy on the field. So going to use Dark Patch, um, attach for the turn. Now what I could do is, well, I could rely on my catchers. Um, oh, I, I should also mention, that if you haven't noticed, that he has tied up the prize count. So um, that's actually really crucial right now. I'm thinking, and I don't remember if this is the point where it's glitched or not, um, I, I maybe should just catch it up the, the Hydreigon, but I'm thinking that if I could just take out that Terrakion, I'll be good. Um, but we'll see. And uh, I'm counting up the energy, and I just, uh, without a Dark Rye in play, see, this is where I need a Dark Rye. I am, I think I'm 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, if I had had Dark Rye in play, I would have won right now. I would have had enough energy on Mewtwo to knock it out. So, um,. This is where just uh, having an, an, an incomplete deck really just kind of sucks. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to use Max Potion on that Deano. And honestly, what I should do right now is uh, use Sableye, actually, for Dark Patch and Catcher. So if he tries to retreat his Terrakion and knock it out with something else, uh, well, I'm still relying on three energy, so maybe not. Um, hmm. What I probably should have done is captured up a Hydreigon, taken it out with my Hydreigon. I would have put us down at, um, uh, I would only need one more prize and would just need a catcher for the game. Could it, yeah. Hmm. This is, this is a conundrum. So, looks like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Looks like I'm just kind of playing around with my energy, moving it around, um, trying to decide if I want to retreat or not. And I get, this is another time where I think uh, a video like this, uh, probably anything over 15 minutes, I should just speed up um, and then do the audio over it, just because it's getting kind of dry right now. And, ugh. Looking at my resources, I've already used my super rod, there's a catcher. Um, yeah, uh, I'm thinking this, yeah, I'm just making too many misplays at this point. So, I'm thinking if I go for like double dark patch, then I can knock out the Mewtwo. But, if he just retreats his Terrakion, then that really won't do me any good. So, maybe I'll go, it looks like I'm going to go for one Dark Patch and one Catcher, and all he has to do right now is end me, and uh, unless I can top something great, um, I'm screwed. So, Tool Scraper, do I have, oh, I do have a, another Evia Light on Mewtwo, so interesting that he runs two of those. Uh, so there that goes. Uh, if I... I mean, I still have a shot, but it's not a very good shot at this point. And that Terrakion, I pretty much have to one-shot it. I really have no choice other than to one-shot it. So he plays random receiver, and he hits the end. So, oh, uh, that hurts. So, crucial things like that, like the, the multiple junipers to... Uh, be able to hit the fighting energies when he needed them, the paralysis on the Deano, and that end. Ah, just took away my great advantage. But, oh well, um, I made my own misplays. And, uh, this is still, except for just parts like this, which are just lagging and lagging, still a very good game, and uh, another good reason why I posted it. So, catchers up um, the Sableye with two energy on it, which, um, again, another misplay on my part because he's going to take out two more of my energy on the field. So having two Dark Patch in my hand really doesn't make a difference because he's just going to take him out. Um, I really should have... Well, if I put it all on Hydreigon, then uh, he just would have... Um, huh. He plays another random receiver to see the last two cards of his deck, uh, which are no supporters. And if he ends... Yeah, I mean, I could try and stall him, but I don't think uh, that would work out very well. His board is just set up too nice. I pull a Bianca, but it's 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 really just too late at this point. Um, yeah, putting leaving all that energy on Sableye was another miss, uh, another big misplay. Um, I needed to, to to spread it out a little bit more. I mean, honestly, I should have just put it all on Mewtwo. Because he couldn't take out the Mewtwo in one shot. Uh, everything else could have been one shot. Mewtwo couldn't have. My energy would have been safe on Mewtwo. So that was uh, just really, really not intelligent. Um, but this is a good thing about doing these recorded videos. Is uh, This is a good chance to go back and see my misplays. And hopefully not make them ever again. So uh, I want to use the Ultra Ball before Bianca. But that's okay. Go ahead and Bianca. And I still can't hit a Darkrai. Yeah, just, uh, but that's alright. I really don't need it at this point. Um, would have been nice to hit, uh, I think I had one more catcher left. Didn't hit that. Um, and there's really not much I can do at this point. Um, 
I can load up the energy and do some damage to Darkrai, but I'm only doing, say, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, uh, 16, 18... Uh, after Dark Patch and the Dark Energy, but then I also have to subtract 20 for Weakness. If it wasn't for the Weakness, uh, I could have had it then too, but, um, yeah, doesn't quite work out that way. But this was still, like I said, a very good game, and, uh, honestly, I think for the last couple of minutes, I just sit here and consider my options. So, uh, I keep on counting, there's really, uh, yeah, all he needs is a catcher to win it, and I feel like he has it in his hand. Just, there, there's something that tells me that he has the catcher in hand to bring up a Sableye or a Deano uh, for that final knockout. So, I'm going to Ultra Ball, Hydreigon, and I think the random receiver. And just so many good cards left in the deck. Uh, surprisingly, though, my, my last catcher is prized which is unfortunate, so, um, but, oh well, that's the way things go sometimes. I can try and, oh, I threw out the dart patch, not the random receiver. So, yeah, um, I lose next turn anyways, because I could not hit a candy hydragon combination for that Deano, so all he has to do is Night Spear knocks out the Deano, um, and that t gives him his last prize. So, my great prize lead, where I only needed to take two more prizes to his four, uh, has dwindled, or was it four, two prizes to his six? Either way, it has dwindled down to a, uh, I'm still left with those two prizes, and he takes the game. So, uh, we'll, well, we've only got like another few seconds, so, oh, and he had the catcher anyways. So, catchers, Deano, and that's it. So, thanks everyone for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for more battle videos.